Right, I'm not really sure what this video is. I suppose you'd call it a courtesy video. Just to explain the situation, it's better than not putting any video out on Wednesday at all. For the most part, all you see with this channel is sort of motorcycles and products related to motorcycling, but you don't see what goes on behind the scenes. You know, obviously when I'm not making videos, I lead an ordinary life, just like anyone else I have an ordinary house. And as some of you may have realised over the years, I'm also a pet lover. I've always loved animals, and I think even as a, as a young lad, I always considered that I liked animals probably more than I like people. Animals tend not to have any hidden agendas. Um, you know, the relationship with you is unconditional. I've always felt that you know exactly where you are with animals. They don't lie to you, they don't cheat, and they always seem to be there for you when you need them. My partner has three cats who make an appearance every now and again in videos, especially when I'm filming on the drive or around the house. And of course, you all know about Willow and the sort of problems that I've had with him over the last couple of years with his leg. Now, I don't dislike any animal, but I've never been a cat lover as such. I've always been a dog person. But when I met my partner, Nan, getting on for 10 years ago, when I visited my partner's house for the first time, this plump little tabby cat came over to me, looked me up and down, jumped on my knee, and immediately laid out and started pairing. And there was this sort of instant connection between us, one that's endured for the last nine years. Millie stuck to me like glue, and she's been a major part of this channel, even though, you know, she's only appeared on camera once or twice. Now, unfortunately, we lost Millie just before last weekend. She was 16 going on 17 years old. She was a larger-than-life animal that, to be honest, in a lot of ways, was more like a dog, more like any dog I've ever known. Cats are usually very independent, but Millie wasn't like that. She was just in your face all the time. Whenever I would sit down anywhere in the house, within seconds, she would be on my lap. And believe it or not, she has actually been a major part of video production for this channel. I spend at least two days a week in front of a computer editing. And she would always take advantage of this and come and sit on my knee while I was on the computer. Pairing away, demanding to be stroked. In fact, on some occasions, a pairing was so loud I'd often have to re-record the sound because the microphone would pick it up. In some ways, Millie was the glue that held the household together. She was Queen Bee. Uh, she kept all the other animals in order, including Willow, and they all had a lot of respect for her. Now, we've seen that her health was deteriorating over the last six months. She lost a lot of weight, and we knew that that time that all animal owners dread was drawing near. Last week, she took a turn for the worst, and by Friday, it was obvious that she'd had enough. Now, I've always believed that when it comes to that time, you should make the procedure as least traumatic as possible, and that you should always be present with them in the last few moments. An animal deserves to have someone that it loves and trusts present with it as it goes. Now, we made the appointment in the morning, and we were told that we could go in and be present, and then when we arrived, we were confronted with, I think she was a Spanish lady, seemed pleasant enough but we could only understand sort of every third word that she said and we were told in no uncertain terms we were not allowed to go in with her due to the covid situation which really hurt me as you may know already i don't have an awful lot of respect for vets they're all corporate entities these days and for the last 10 years i've had that growing feeling with these corporate veterinary surgeons that for them profit is far more important than animal welfare i've been in this situation with an animal once or twice before and you always feel like you've betrayed their trust when you take them in even though you're doing it with the best possible intentions and then to make matters worse we handed her over to a total stranger the procedure didn't go well it took over an hour and millie deserved 
much more than that. Now, my partner's been inconsolable over the weekend, and if I'm honest, I've not fared much better. And what I think I'm trying to say is my head's not really in the right place for making videos this week. I'll try to get something out on Friday. Hopefully, I'll be feeling a little bit better by then. And I'm just asking that, you know, please bear with me. Now, the music in this video was courtesy of Gordon Forbes, one of my viewers. Thank you very much, Gordon. It didn't have a title, so if it's okay, I'm going to call it Millie. And I'd also like to say a big thank you to everyone that's offered their condolences. I did put a little post up on the community page for this channel, and the response from people has been overwhelming. Thank you so much. Please, do me a big favour. Go and give your pets, your cats and dogs, or whatever you have, a big hug from their Uncle Stu. And I'll see you again soon. Yeah.